Hey guys, just to give you a little bit of context, this is my talk I did at the Philly Game Mechanics event called Seven Reasons Why I Love Devlogs. This is outside of the normal videos. Um, I will still post my devlogs as normal, um, but I wanted to do this talk in video format back uh, because I think uh, you guys would appreciate it and I thought it was a really great event and I think um, I think you will enjoy it. So uh, enjoy. Hey everyone, my name is Garrett Williams and this is my speed talk on seven reasons why I love making devlogs. So to give a little context, my name is Garrett Williams. I am a sophomore at Rowan University, 20 years old. Uh, I started making weekly devlogs at the beginning of this year in January and I would love a career in the games industry one day, whether that's AAA or indie. The first reason why I love making devlogs is the community. So I post my devlogs on YouTube, which is the second largest search engine in the world, and that means that people from literally anywhere in, on this earth uh, can watch my devlogs. So I've connected with people from Sweden, from Japan, Germany, South Africa, different parts of the US and Europe, just all different walks of life. And I think it's a great thing because um, I haven't really traveled much outside of the US and it's sort of great to experience different lifestyles and cultures, even if it's more constrained to just game development and specific people, it is great to know that there's other cultures out there and different ways of, of doing things, which is always great to see. Um, and additionally, it's just great to have recurring viewers where every week I know there's going to be at least these few people who are going to comment and I always look forward to seeing those comments. So having, having that sort of audience and community aspect of it, it just really motivates me and excites me to, to keep making these devlogs. Second reason is growth. So by doing these devlogs, I'm sort of forcing myself to organize all my thoughts and, and put it into a video, whether that's just general marketing formats or just kind of putting together my ideas in terms of the game. Um, whereas when I just communicate with myself and write down my own ideas, it's sort of, I guess, I get sort of zoned in and don't really notice things that are sort of obvious, just being in the process. Uh, but by doing these devlogs, I'm getting skills um, not only in marketing and communication, but whenever I share like bits of my code, then people who are smarter than me will be like, hey, you know, that works, but there might be a better way of doing it. And that's just a great way for me to learn all around, whether it's just marketing or just my general game development skills. Next is marketing. So every week I'm putting out a new video, which means that there's much more chance that people are exposed to my games. Whereas before I'd only do maybe a release trailer and um, maybe a few tweets. Now I'm posting a video every week, which means I'm creating content every week for people to potentially see. And I've definitely noticed that there has been um, a lot more success in my games because of these devlogs, although it's still not a lot in the grand scheme of things. In terms of my development career, it has been a lot better by doing this. Next is accountability. So when I first started doing devlogs, I made a promise to myself that every week, I would post a devlog. So that means every week I would need to work on my game to have content for that devlog. And for 40, 40 plus straight weeks, I have done that successfully. And it's great because it, it just sort of keeps me accountable that having this public goal that, you know, even at the start, it was just a few people who knew about it and they frankly probably didn't care as much. But by kind of putting it out there, that kind of motivates me in the back of my mind to just really work on it and post a devlog. Um, and additionally, having the community's support and accountability on their sense is that I'm sure if I didn't post a devlog, there's people who, who would be concerned and, and would want a devlog, and I'm sure they're gonna be less hard on me than I would be on myself for not posting. But sort of having that, knowing in the back of my mind that they're looking forward to a video, um, I just kind of don't wanna let them down and, and also don't wanna let myself down. So having this sort of uh, community and, and sort of these people that help keep me accountable that has really helped me uh, to achieve my development goals and really work more in the past nine months in game development than I have in the previous two years, which is always great to hear. Next is expression. So here I've listed a few different things. I have karate, tricking, and practical jokers, Spongebob, singing in the car, and humor. And in one way or another, at one point in time or another, I've implemented all these into my devlogs. And I think this is great for a few different reasons. One is that it just helps my, confident, uh, or my confidence 
I'm naturally introverted by trade, so um, putting all this stuff out there and, and sort of being more expressive uh, just kind of helps my confidence and, and be more proud of who I am. Additionally, by putting out that I'm interested in these different stuff, it allows me to connect with my audience on a stronger level where I'm more vulnerable and also exposing my audience to, to things that I'm interested in. So if someone else is interested in tricking, then we can connect. Whereas if I just was this sort of robotic dev who just was doing game development, then they wouldn't have otherwise known. Next is combining passions. So in addition with game development, I'm interested in a few different things like animation, graphic design, web design, etc. And I can't really fully explore all those and, and have success because I wouldn't have any focus. So what I tried to do is by doing these devlogs and combining my video editing skills and graphic design skills and animation skills, they're all contributing towards the devlog. However, the devlogs are meant to further push my game development career. So yeah, I'm still doing all these different stuff, but it's sort of like a disorganized focus where I'm exploring all these different interests, but still being focused on game development itself. And finally, we have impact. So I've only been doing this for about nine or 10 months, but I have noticed a few things that in the community, there's people who are dealing with burnout and depression and, and personal issues, and that's really upsetting to see. However, from their communities, I've noticed an overwhelming amount of support, and I would love to create that sort of community one day as well. I'm starting to try to implement some, or at least push towards that, um, where my devlogs, I, I'm theming, I'm theming my game around suicide prevention, so in my devlogs, I kind of give a little spiel at the end, um, where I kind of offer this, offer help uh, if anyone needs it, and sort of making games that have more of an impact, that have more meaning. Um, it's definitely motivated me to keep working in my games and devlogs, um, but I'd also like to think that maybe I can make a difference one day. And that, that is it. Thank you for watching. All right, so that was my talk. I, I think we were just about, about at the seven minute mark, which is great. Um, I know this is a little different uh, from what I normally do, uh, but I thought it was a great talk to share. And for those of you who are watching who are the people who normally watch my devlogs, I just want to give a big thank you to you guys. Um, you guys are really one of the biggest reasons why I do this. And I hope this talk sort of showed you my, appreciate, yeah, my appreciation for you guys. And I just really want to say thank you. Um, I will potentially do more... I guess different content like this in the future, uh, although I'd love to have a focus on devlogs and just keep getting better at that. But if you guys are interested in seeing more stuff like this, um, please let me know. And so one final thank you uh, for everyone watching who has ever watched and ever commented. I really appreciate you. And I will see you, well, I guess this is in devlogs, not in the de next devlog. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.